Welcome back to Excuse My Grandma. It's Kim and my co-host, Grandma Gail. You know, it's so sad to say it, but we are soon leaving Palm Beach and heading back to New York City. And of course, we'll be continuing the podcast there, but I hope we have our same audience as we do here because we've made some great followers. Do you think we will? I think we'll have the same audience because they travel with us and we'll make new friends in New York that are going to listen to our podcast. Like my doorman there? Yeah, the doorman will listen to us there. <laughs> maybe maybe the people in the, the corner of Starbucks will tune in. Do you go to Starbucks? Yeah. I you do? It. Yeah. Poppy loves it there. What do you get? I just, I get a hot chocolate. And I have the crumb cake, which is so good. What's a crumb cake? It's like a pound cake with little crumbs on it, like Drake's cake, oh. but only it's better. You eat like a fifth grade boy. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but... Like, that's what fifth grade boys eat. I like that. I feel like you go after middle school and you go to Starbucks. Well, that's... Well, I, I think Starbucks is doing pretty well, so there must be a lot of middle true. schoolers out there. Yeah, that's true. I have to figure out the coffee shop on my block. I think I like it. Did you walk into that place with me? I like your Fairview. I don't have to come down and use your market. It's a much better market. They have a terrific cake department there. <laughs> you had a full-on fight with mom last night when she was like, it's not so great. It is great. She was like, it's not like Publix. Nothing is like Publix, I will say. <laughs> oh, yes, Wegmans. Oh yeah, that's the best. Okay, let's rate supermarket. Yeah, that that was really the that was the best supermarket I ever was in in my entire yeah. life. I got lost in the aisles. So Wegmans, what is in Ithaca? Is it? Where no, else? it's also there's one in Brooklyn. They opened one oh. near um, the um, what's the center? Um, oh my heavens, Barclays. The Barclays Center. It's right near there. Wait, I feel like that's a great field trip. Yeah, no, that's going to be great. That's whenever they, you're bored. Whenever we were bored at school, we would just go to Wegmans and walk around the. And aisles. they had delicious sushi there. <laughs> we yes. Had, yeah, we had the sushi there. It was delicious when we were up at school. I know. While visiting you. I don't know what makes it so good. You know what makes it great? They have. They it's a big space, and they're able to have every product you can ever imagine. But okay, I'm gonna have to do all the grocery shopping when I go home because you've been doing it here. Yeah, get back to reality. Go no. down. It's not a big pr- a thing. You can even I think you can even call up your your market and they'll deliver to your apartment. Oh yeah, and there's like Amazon and Fresh Direct and all of these things. Yeah, but your market is really nicer than those. I mean, if you want food, I saw when I went in there, they had a beautiful cheese and they have all the hot stuff there. I don't it looked, know. It looked can really you good. Bring stuff? I'm not bringing things from my D'Agostino, which has one aisle. You figure out you only have to market once a week. I mean, yeah. you're only one person. So you Just start... Don't rub it in. <laughs> well, that's your problem. You could you could be a pear. You're just a two... You're very yeah, fussy. Pears are... I like apples. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. So let's talk about wrapping up living together in Palm Beach. It's um, going to be interesting. When How I have, did I rate as a roommate from one to ten? Oh, I, I think a nine. Why not a ten? Well, I don't. I don't think anybody's yeah, a ten. There's no such thing as there's no. Maybe Brad Pitt is a ten, but right, he would be a great roommate. Yeah, I, I, I don't. Guess. But I think I think you were pretty. You were pretty close to being great. Oh, what did I contribute? Your, your smile. Yeah. <laughs> you got up and you gave me a laugh. Yeah. And you became my golf partner. So that was very important. Is this what an ex-boyfriend would say about me? (laughs) You laughed and you became my golf partner. Maybe. You were a great roommate. I was? Yeah. Yeah, I even made you juice in the morning. Oh, yeah, juice every morning. Wait, who needs a boyfriend? (laughs) I have grandma. You got grandma. I could just bring over the juice in the morning and then you could forget it. Just do your own thing. And you got to experience my dating life firsthand. I mean, I would come home, talk to you about the dates I went on. Yeah, that um, was fun. That we, it was really fun. It was it was interesting to see the difference in dating between when I dated, which was a hundred years ago, and when you're dating now. Yeah, and I think there'll be a whole new dynamic to it when I do go back to New York, and I'm not just meeting people from like an app or like someone I bump into, you know, in the little town that is Palm Beach, um, and to 
explain that dynamic to you too because I think that'll be super different. Well, I hope so. I, I hope it's a it's a happier uh, thing. Well, not that we didn't have a good you mean, time. You didn't enjoy seeing me cry every night. <laughs> but, no, I don't like. I I really think you're ready to go back to the big city and start going to into restaurants and having socialization with your friends. Mm-hmm. Really, I I think that's very important. No matter what age we are, we need to be in contact with our contemporaries. From your perspective, you had a front row seat. What were the highs and lows where you saw me exploring different romantic relationships? Well, I think, in my opinion, you don't, you're a little too sensitive in your dating. I think that you got to get a little tougher. But isn't Uh, that the whole point of? Dating, I mean, it's an emotional pastime. It's an emotional pastime, but I think you have to, you're, you're such a smart, listen, you graduated cum laude from Cornell. You, you're pretty smart. Flex. I only went to Syracuse, so I, I don't have that kind of smarts that you have. But you've got to get a little tougher in relationships. You're too nice, really too nice. And um, I think that's a learning experience. Wait, what do you mean too nice? I think you're just too nice dropping off Tylenol to people, <laughs> you're going and I, I, you're just too nice. I, I think I mean, it's, I sh- if someone was going out of their way for me like that, you would say they're fantastic, right? Yeah, but it has to be reciprocated. Yes, it's a two-way street of Tylenol. You have to have Tylenol coming in and Tylenol going out. We can coin this one the Tylenol rule. That's correct. Meaning, That's a good one. I like that. Thank you. Meaning if that person is giving you 100%, mm-hmm. it's only a green flag if you are also giving that 100% back. Correct. Correct. So you're no saying if somebody one-sided. was going out of their way for me and I was like, eh. I think you have to think about it and maybe maybe look a little deeper into why he's doing it. And if he's a nice person, you know, keep it up. Keep trying because sometimes uh, – somebody really comes through in the end who's a nice guy versus the guy who's all flashy and and jazzy but doesn't have anything really behind that true you have to give everybody a little bit of time and not judge a book by its cover right oh that you learned see grandma's idea of you got to kiss a lot of frogs before you may may meet a prince right or just like not judge by first impression right well that i think i never really judge by first impression though i like to as we know like i like to get nitty-gritty and know like your how yeah, well, you were as a like act therapist like, yeah, but I but you're not a therapist that's the problem don't you're you're supposed to be a girlfriend or a friend or a date or whatever I don't want to know about whether he failed a class in third grade or and, and he's that's emotionally why he, like, scarred. can't deal with rejection exactly. right 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 so yeah. I love that that like you tell me that and I'm yours <laughs> I know that that's where you this is ridiculous yeah. I think you got to switch professions you might need to be a shrink or no I think I just need to go to one <laughs> <laughs> well that's possible too <laughs> there is a difference so what do you think was what was your favorite date I went on and least favorite well, I don't I wasn't on any of the dates but yeah, from but what you, you said were. well maybe I was a little bit all right the I think your the least favorite date was the guy you could had nothing to say to at mm. BJ that mm. that was it that was bad from beginning to end because you just didn't have I any spark and of course those are always the nights that the waiters just don't come when you need them that's well, that uh, when, always when you're in, the case right when you're enjoying your meal you're like what um and they take your plates then, away. That, right. That you get so aggravated. You get so annoyed. They're on top of you. And then the night where you're like, hurry us along, nowhere to be seen. That's always what happens. <laughs> well, that that's that's life. But I mean, I think you're be- – maybe some of you – I don't know who, which is your best date. Mm-hmm. You've had a lot of nice guys mm-hmm. who've come around. Um, but I also think it was very nice um, to have a picnic on the beach. That, to me – uh, is something that I would have gone for. I like that. Why that more than, you know, a normal restaurant or... I just I just thought that was so nice. It ends a, a season of being outdoors mm-hmm. here. I mean, Florida is so beautiful right now. And... Although we did get caught in the rain. Oh, that I didn't know. <laughs> All right, well, so... No, that... no, no, but that was the end, so... No, that was a very nice date. Okay. I, I sort of like that kind of thing. I think it means... T- puts a little effort into w- what you're doing. Oh, yeah. That's what I want to get used to. Like, you know, that date, um, he 
did a lot to make it so I just had to show up kind of and he took care of the rest and that's a very nice thing and something I'm not really used to, right? Well, I think that's a it, it's a great uh, personal trait that this young man has and I don't know him, but I'm, I, it sounds nice, but I think you also should do things like that for your dates. Uh, I feel uh, like I actually do usually which was funny that's what i'm saying like well if you time, remember your cooking was not a was not a, a one of the highlights of your dating career so i think also but i what still you, did it you did it's it the effort i you mean did it's, the effort it, the that's principle? true you did the effort and you put the and you d- did do it but i i would make one suggestion for the <laughs> remember, something to do remember in, he called me in the car and he was like <laughs> what like are you got you know we have to have dinner in 30 minutes i was he was like have you gone shopping yet i was like i already did everything too much pressure and then he didn't like your soggy pasta but then he had it for leftovers the next day all right well maybe it was better cold since we are going back to new york i'm gonna change my dating app location back to new york new york yay let's go into frank sinatra now we should really sing a song you know what you could change your theme song on one of the apps on Raya, you have a theme song. I think I need a dating app revamp. So I don't want to do it. I want you to do it for me. I, I don't believe in these apps because <laughs> I'm going to say I'd rather you get fixed up by a friend. or that Okay, you... where's the friend? Oh, they're friends. He'll fix you up. I think that we can go through the prompts on the app. We've, we kind of did this episode one. When I showed you my existing stuff and you kind of just shit on it. I don't know, Kimmy, aren't any of the guys that you met down here going back to New York? Yes. So you don't have to go on an app to me- to see them again. Are you on his team or mine? I don't know. I'm on the team. I'm on team Kim. I'm sick of these apps. I know. You know, I just think you don't put your eggs in one basket. Well, you have several baskets. You, know, <laughs> you got you a know lot me, of baskets. I, I, you don't put your eggs in five baskets. You need like too 15. Many, well, that's too many baskets. I'm exhausted from all those baskets. Yeah. Obviously, you know, I'm joking a little bit. I think that we can go through the prompts on the app. Remember, so this is a profile about me. I get three things. And people are supposed to get a good idea of, you know, who I am. Right. Okay. Number one is I'm legitimately bad at. Uh, you're bad at cooking. You're definitely bad at cooking. I think so, you have to improve that. That could be definitely a, an area of, of improvement. If a guy, how does that make me look good? They'll be like, I'll cook for you. Oh, I don't know if it makes you look good. Well, why would I put that on my profile? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, all right. Then don't put that on your profile. <laughs> um, I don't know why anyone would want to say what they're bad at on their profile. Right. That one doesn't really make sense. Well, you're very, you're, you're very good at writing. You're very good at speaking publicly. Um, you're good at, well, now you're very, very good at golf. So you were... Um, you could mm-hmm. really be very competitive in that area if somebody likes to play. Yeah. Um, you're good. You like to go walking. You love to walk. So anybody who loves to walk in the parks in New York, you're all for that. Um, I don't know what else. You love fu- okay, fun how about restaurants. This one? It says the most neurotic thing about me. Most. Oh, you're always thinking you're fat. Oh. And you're so thin. Why, why would I say that on a dating app? <laughs> Grandma, this is, you're supposed to make yourself look good so people want to date you. Why would I say I always Well, if think they I'm... see your picture, they know that you're beautiful. Yeah, but that just makes you look insecure. Well, I don't know. <laughs> why would I put that on? Okay. I don't, don't put that okay. on. My perfect morning. Oh, your perfect morning is sleeping. Sleeping in. <laughs> Sleeping in. So far, everything makes me look extremely unattractive <laughs> and lazy. <laughs> We're the same type of weird if. I don't think you're weird in anything. Okay. Oh, no, I can think of something that drives me crazy about you. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm thinking about it. You cannot make a decision on what to eat for dinner. Yeah. I don't get the reason for I know. That. I actually, another thing to talk about in therapy, I really don't know. It's it's a strange thing. And, like, I would love, guys out there, if you could just decide for us. I don't know if that's enabling my bad behavior. Yeah, that is. Why can't you make a decision between the halibut know. and the salmon? I, I don't know. All right. Well, I to think me, that's like, you got to work on that. To me, like, 
you know, uh, what's like a huge thing? Like, do you want to invade Vietnam? Right, right. <laughs> that I could decide like drop of a dime. This, no. I know that. If I could quarantine with any three celebrities, I would choose. I think I would choose Barbra Streisand. That what, she could what, would she, she could sing, sing for me you this. She, well, naturally, why would I choose her if she wasn't going to sing? Or You're, Lady Gaga. What? I love I love her that song she sang with Brad with Bradley Cooper. Oh, shallow. Yeah. Oh, that was my favorite. Really? And of course, at our pool where we're living, <laughs> so they play it every single day. I think they have the same song over and over and over again out there. So Barbara Streisand, Lady Gaga, and who's your third? Who was my? Th- Third, I think Neil Sedaka. Who is that? Oh, that's somebody from my, from the from the seventies. I don't know who my three would be. Zac Efron, who's single now. Oh, well, he's um, definitely going to call call by the end of this uh, week. Well, you know, he went out with a random girl. Like, I think he walked into a coffee shop in Australia and then dated the girl for like five years. Like the who worked at the coffee shop. So well, basically, well, he had good coffee. Basically, I wake up every morning and I'm like, today could be the day. Well, it could be. You, you know. never know. Mm-hmm. Okay. My worst dad joke. Do I tell a certain no, joke? Don't, don't tell any jokes about you. No. Do you, know, you know what a dad joke is? It's not about your dad. What is it? A dad joke is like a dumb joke that a father would tell. Like, oh, why are there holes in your pants? Oh. You don't know what that is? No. I never heard of these things. Oh. Don't 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 talk about your dad. It's <laughs> not what it is. He loves you. Don't talk about him. In high school, I was voted most likely to. Were you voted anything? Yes. Oh, what? I was voted most outgoing. You were? Yep. I have it in my yearbook. Oh. I thought I was getting the best dressed, but I didn't. My other friend got it, Naomi Feldman. <laughs> Shout out, <laughs> which Naomi. I still remember, <laughs> and she still lives in Harrison. Oh. Where I grew up, she never, she never left. I don't remember if I was. I think most either most likely to become a celebrity or like marry Zac Efron. One oh, of see, I know. Well, you know, part of it circle. came. Yeah, part of it worked out. And you're still talking about Zac Efron. It's not even his name, Zac Efron. Zac Efron. Um. Okay, I'm weirdly attracted to blank. You're weirdly, Narcissist. Att- <laughs> you're, you're weirdly attracted to the wrong people. Right, right. If loving this is wrong, I don't want to be right. I think pizza. I knew you were going to say a, f- a fattening <laughs> food. I just knew it. I think pizza. I really love pizza. And that's the one thing I miss now all over because nobody except for the ones downtown make really the thin crusted pizza that I used to remember as a kid mm-hmm. and as a young adult. Last one, I want to do weirdest gift I've given or received. Weirdest gift? I don't know what my weirdest gift was. I think the uh, a fun gift was was um, that uh, we got the cups with our podcast picture on it. True. That's not weird, though. No, it's not weird. I don't really have I can't any. think of... Oh, actually, I have one. Oh, what? Let me hear. Um, in fifth... No, not fifth grade. Was it? No. Going back to fifth grade? Yes. Who could remember that long? No, sorry. Ninth grade. Okay. My first boyfriend, in quotations, because, like, I don't know if we'd even call him that, um, got me, like, one of those junk food t-shirts. It was, like, a purple t-shirt that had a peanut butter and jelly on it. Yeah. But it wasn't even wrapped or anything. He just, like, handed me the t-shirt. It was probably his sister's. Seriously. It didn't even fit me. <laughs> I'm sure it was, it was his weird. sister's or he got it in the Lost and Found. It was just so – it was, like, maybe cute in, like, second grade. But, like, not – he probably got it in the Lost and Found. <laughs> he probably – this guy, he probably did. But, um – Yeah, I thought that was bizarre. Because it was not, if you knew me at all, like, I would just never wear that. Well, I'm telling you, you got it in the lost and found. Okay, well, that solves that mystery that I'm wondering about 20 (laughs) years later. (laughs) Okay, now I think it would be fun to go through some of my matches or, or people that I haven't matched with yet, and you can decide whether to swipe left or right based off of their answers and and pictures. But what's left? Okay, if you say left is no and right is yes. Oh, okay. I won't say people's names. No, no names. Okay. You should not go out with me if you hate bad movies. 
No, but I like that guy because I love his dog. Yeah, so wait, I would... he's cute. Real estate, 5'8", which means he's 5'7". Or five six. Doesn't it's, matter. You're five two. It's perfect. Not matter. Good things come in small packages. Why does that guy have a baby? Is he married? No, I don't know. Maybe he like wants people to see what he. No, maybe he has a baby. No, he I don't think so. I bet he's just like he thinks he girls think. Oh, that's cute. You want a baby? No, forget that. We don't want a baby. We haven't even had a date. Okay, I'm gonna send a like. Okay. All right. Actually, I'll listen to you from now on. Okay. This guy. What's yeah. he, this one's accepting an Academy Award. No, he's reading a wedding speech, clearly. Oh. Clearly. <laughs> oh, he's reading a wedding speech. Okay. This is weird. I'm Xing him. A lot of dogs in these in these yes. dating apps. Good observation, Gail. <laughs> a lot of this people talk about this all the time. I think guys post with their dog because one it's something you could easily slide in and say something about the dog right okay yeah that's true you know some dogs are cuter cute than dog, others dog what's his name whatever two like some people are genuinely obsessed with their dog and wants to okay sh- tell make sure about that him. you like dogs yeah maybe this guy likes himself in a bathing suit so yeah how do you feel about that well, i don't know i th- i sort of think they a little shirt would be better on a yeah uh, and he does app. it he right there's more than one which is not well then evident he must work out a lot yeah okay so hard or no but you could you could actually put yours on too in your bathing suit i already do well i think it's i think both of you have to cover up a little okay heart or x no, he's a, he's attractive. Um, I I'd sweep I'd sweep to the right on some of these. Okay. This guy. He's drinking. He likes wine. So evidently he likes wine. So if somebody really likes wine, that's fine. But if they're drinking out of two hands with two glasses, I'd cut him out because then Double clearly, fisting. Yeah, clearly it's too much drinking for you. Well, one drink one is hand. more than enough. It's just in one hand. Yeah. Okay. Okay, he grew up in four different countries. Oh, interesting. My most controversial opinion is... Fries are better with mustard. Oh, Poppy likes that too. He's um, definitely not a ketchup guy. Oh, he mentions alcohol again. Good catch. See? We'll get along if you like tacos, whiskey, beer, no. or wine. Swiping to the left. Okay. No, too much Good drinking. Ca- you're right. Too much drinking. A lot about the alcohol. Yeah. Okay, two truths and a lie about this guy. A, I played soccer in Europe for six months. B, I made it to the quarterfinals on MasterChef Junior. C, I was asked to join the American Boy Choir. I think they're all lies. No, two is true and one's a lie. Oh, this is also so mean. I'm attracted to girls who don't ride horses, meaning he doesn't like girls who do ride horses. Yeah. That's rude. And also, Gucci scarf, bye. It doesn't matter because you don't ride horses. I know, but that's so still mean. Swipe, I don't like that. You could swipe to the right. I don't like that discrimination. Oh, all right. Okay. A lot of travel pictures. Yes. Very interesting. Well, if people like to show I guess people want to show where they've been. I'm trying to find some. Also, a lot of pictures with their mothers. I immediately would eliminate the ones who have pictures with their mothers. Wait, really? Yeah, there are a oh, lot. Oh, there are a lot of pictures. With them. I, think maybe, I think maybe it's bar mitzvah pictures. I'm thinking because I have it filtered to Jewish. <laughs> they probably all bar mitzvah. They all love their mothers. <laughs> Which is very good. Yeah. Loving your mother is very, very good. That means they'll love their wives. Okay, this guy. I'm looking for someone who enjoys happy hour and brunch. Uh, I would eliminate him again. It's another And drunk. he's drinking a beer here. I forget that. You know what? Maybe I can skip. <laughs> the apps altogether this time around in New York. Well, I'll have to suss it out when I get there. I might have already met people that I can just continue those relationships with. As you said, uh, we might not need this at all. Well, it's always you're always open, and it's fun to it's fun to do all this stuff. It's been interesting, and um, let's raise our glasses to a new uh, chapter going back to NYC. Yep, and a new chapter of Excuse My Grandma. I think it's going to be a really fun change for the podcast and for our listeners to see what happens back up north. And this summer, we're both going to be in the Hamptons. So we'll we'll share our experiences from out there. Kimmy, what was your favorite 50s movie? Oh, yeah, we have to do our 50s movie recommendation of the week. Yeah, we really saw a great one this week. Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Marilyn Monroe was absolutely the absolutely the most beautiful woman of her yeah. time I and still is that was maybe one of the first movies you introduced me to her really yeah like years ago 
not I mean everyone knows who she is but not everyone's watched all of her films like I'm obsessed but looking at her just makes you feel like very confident and like she's very much herself and I love that and what was so interesting, of course, is unfortunately she died mm-hmm. when she was in her early 30s. So you only remember her yes. exactly when she was she's stuck her in most time. beautiful. She's she's frozen in time. Frozen in time. I think that's such a fun movie. Just the she and Jane Russell were they were the best together. The with. musical numbers are so good. Yes, I mean that's Diamonds, Diamonds are, are a girl's girl. best friend. That's the best. That's the, you the can red, still remember her pink dress. Yes, I mean, against it's the, the red background, all the diamonds, mm-hmm. all the men around her. Madonna like copied that in a music video. Years I think later. everybody copies. Yes, her. of course. So that's a really good one. If you guys want to see, I don't know though if I love. The, what was the message even from that? Well, movie? Well, I think it's not 2021. It's, it's, it's a dated. dated message, especially with women today. Uh, but it's just to, but to what look was at it, and it really see the just fun. like continue. Well, well, to marry a rich guy. <laughs> no, because Jane Russell's character did not, and no, she was that's just correct. as happy. Yes, but Marilyn Monroe's character always wanted the rich correct. guy. But I guess remember when she tried to be greedy and be with like Piggy or whatever who offered her the tiara. Right. Um, and she wanted, she was going to drop her nice, still very rich fiance for this guy older. who owned a diamond mine who was older. But then she realized. got herself into trouble. Right. Um, and realized the first guy was enough. I don't think we have to take anything away from the movie yeah. as a moral story. Right. I think you just watch it, you wa- listen, you no, see the music. No, it's just interesting to think about like what it says about love, you know? I think that was a 50s message that isn't yes. applicable today. A 50s message which was comfort is supreme. Like, I don't even know. <laughs> well, diamonds are a girl's best yes. friend. That was yeah, the message. Yeah, that's the message. Okay, that was another great episode of Excuse My Grandma. Please write in all of your questions. You can follow us on Instagram at Excuse My Grandma. You can follow me at Kim Merstein. Okay, Kim. It was fun. We're closing up shop here. And next week, we'll be broadcasting from the Big Apple.